Okay, take a look at these shoes. These are Mara Trails by Zero. What do they look like? Remarkably like Tevas. But if you look at a Teva, don't just look at it, pick it up, put it down. What does it do? It does not do this. And it sure as heck don't do that. And neither does Keen or anything else like that. So why would you want to around, walk around turning your feet into little paddles when you could let your feet be feet? Here's a cast of a skeleton of a foot. This is to point out that we have lots of bones in our feet. My favorite uh, cocktail party fact is the fact that 24% of all the joints in our body are actually in our two feet. That's quite a lot. Why would we have those joints? Well, every time a joint moves, it's sending information to the brain about where we are in space, where that joint is relative to other joints, in space and how quickly it is moving through that space. So it would seem that telling our brain where we are on our feet is important because we've been wired with this much information to get to the brain. However, when we put the foot in squishy shoes, especially squishy shoes that don't bend, it's like putting them in a sensory deprivation tank. Suddenly the only information going to the brain is about where the ankle is or where a few metatarsals are as opposed to all of these bones like the navicular and the cuboid and the taleocalcanal joint and all these wonderful tarsals that are moving. So if we cut those off, we're not sending information to the brain. The brain is less secure about where we are. And guess what? Trips and falls can happen uh, more as well as other kinds of injuries from not moving. So got to move the feet. And what helps to move the feet? shoes that let a foot be a foot, that let it bend and twist and send information to the brain. These are Mara Trails by Zero. Why are they cool? Very simple. They do this. And what I'm beginning to dig have we called this? Passing the twist test. But the cool thing about these new uh, trails is that they have 10 millimeters of foam. Now, some hardcore barefooty types might say, uh, no, that's that's too much stuff for me. I don't I don't like the feel of that. I only want four millimeter. And and I've been in that space. But the cool thing about these shoes is you try them on and it's sort of so sweet because your feet just feel loved and soft and cushy while you're walking around on anything. Which is just Frickin' wicked, and uh, you don't notice that you've got this on because they're so twisty and so grippy with these various rubbers that they've got on the base now, and this little bit of extra padding all rubber up here, and this really nice lacing system. This is actually a tube. See, that's that's not tape. That's a tube. So no rubbing, and if you were funked out before by the lacing. Um, of previous Zero Shoes, it's all in the bag now. Step in from the back, tighten it up, and you're good to go. These are amazing. By the way, here's something kind of cool about these sandals. It's apparently 7 degrees Celsius outside right now, but the cool thing is my feet feel really comfortable. And the nice thing is that walking around in sandals like these with just a little bit of the cushioning on them, that Zero's invented for the trail here is really fabulous. I'm surprised. I thought I'd be, you know, total barefoot snob and going, no, no, there's too much padding here. But however they've done it, it just makes it cloudy, like pillowy or something like that. But it's awesome. Way to go. Many thumbs up.